This is my review on Percy Jackson's The Lady Thief. So, Percy Jackson's this kid, sort of, that's proud human but flat god, and he's never seen his real father. And his um, um, his mother has a um, abusive parent who's abusive to Percy and also to his mother. See, she sacrificed being a good parent in order to protect Percy from evil. Which is why she went to hell in the movie because her place in hell is set <laughs> how charming is that So Percy goes to this camp and where her mother dies because she can't enter the camp because she's she's all human. And where we, we find out that his best friend is half goat. Yes, we're taking some serious drugs now, huh? And we find out Pierce Bryant has a horse's ass. Literally. And he was just pretending to be a handicapped teacher when he's really fully capable of walking. Was a horse's ass. And Percy at the camp finds out that he can bend water because he finds out he's a water bender, like in the last Airbenders franchise. And because this was because he bent water to help his scars heal because the woman was trying to kill him and when she wants to go and help him Percy on this adventure. Now Percy points out, you tried to kill me, now you want to help me? Because he knows that this movie's stupid and inconsistent. But very inconsistent. Yes. So anyway, this guy tricks Percy because he's really the bad guy. Puts the lightning bolt in his shield. But because all the gods are made here for a bad person. But they think he stole the lightning bolt. The ball, and they think he's the lightning thief. When it's really this other guy who comes across as Percy's friend only to backstab Percy. So, when they make it to hell, they find out that he must have put the lightning bolt because he's the one that gave him that shield. So he figured out that he's lengthy. Of course, the Lucifer doesn't believe this because he's the Lucifer and that makes him an idiot and a total jackass. A very gullible jackass, if you would say. You would think Gene being the king of all evil, he would know this. And he's seen the evil is kind of a thing. And only all people who are evil, who evil. Oh, Medusa's in it. This is, it's very brief though. And it's kind of like tossed aside. Not really much of a Medusa acting. She doesn't really have that much to do with the story. So she's easily defeated by Percy cutting off her head. Decapitation.
So all the gods think that Percy was a lady thief even after because they can't see because seeing that gods they can't see everything that goes on Earth because it's out of their league. Percy tells the gods to shove it because they're idiots. After defeating the bad guy and discovering, Percy has discovered that he is the son of Poseidon because he can want to bend. Um. He did that earlier in the film, so, but the tree, like, it's a very big reveal. And the only how he figured out that he can want is because his father's been speaking to him from the entire third act of the film. And he never really he catches on of what's going on about these lotus flower that's been keep them trapped there and by the fire has to tell him and but before the fire tells him that don't eat the lotus of flower this guy has been here trapped there since the 70s like the mid or early 70s and he thinks this game is just recent and just came out. And he's been playing this game since then. And <laughs> Percy doesn't think anything of it. So anyway, they go back to camp. Percy's now a hero. You know, he didn't do much of anything. And the girl suddenly has a thing for him. A sp and wants to train Percy how to fight. And inspire with Percy. You can kind of tell that this movie's a piece of shit and the story makes is absolutely no sense at all. While the acting is... And the cams are likable. The cams are more like, eh. I'm, when I say eh, I mean meh. And the acting's meh. Except for Bronze and then the Gold Boy. And Percy's dad. So this gives us something's down in my opinion. Oh yeah, this is something up to something, I think. Just gonna wait till it goes to nightmares. <laughs> 